Hi students, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss two questions from Profit and Loss. Again, these two questions are taken from our doubt clarification sessions only. Uh, some students sent these questions to us, not some students, two students. One question by one student and other question by the other student and uh, both these questions I have checked. You can find it on many websites. You just Google that one. You will get that's the reason why I have not even changed the names also. Names and figures, nothing has been changed. Just Google it. You find it on many websites. But uh, we are going to solve these two questions with our unique method. Probably you may not get it uh, anywhere. I cannot say anywhere. But uh, very less people teach using the uh, unitary method. It's very unique. Actually, you can get the answer within seconds with that one. Okay. Anyway, students, let's uh, first make a note of these questions. Take the screenshot or in whatever way that is convenient for you and you try to do it by yourself. After that, watch the explanation. Now, see, this is the first question and uh, this is the second one. You please make a note of that, uh, this one in one way or the other, whichever is convenient for you. Right. Now, let's start this one. This question from profit and loss, of course, how to do it? First, read the question properly. Raman calculates his profit percentage on selling price. Whereas, Rajiv calculates his profit percent, of course, on cost price. Simple. 1% on selling price, 1% on cost price. Generally, in profit and loss concept, profit is calculated on cost price. But some questions, in some questions, deliberately they give that one as a profit is calculated on selling price. Case to case that differs. But basically, remember, in the basics of profit and loss in our regular course, I told you profit is by default calculated on the cost price only. Okay, right. First of all, you should know the difference. Next, they find that the difference of their profits 150 rupees between those two right one person calculates on cost price one person calculates the profit on the selling price overall the difference between both the profits is 150 they have given then <coughs> if the selling price of both of them are the same uh, very important information selling price of both of them are same make a note of that that's very important then uh, both of them gets uh, get 50 percent profit both of them get 50% profit and for both of them, SP is the same. Okay, uh, next. If that is the case, find their selling price. Very good question, students. Actually, if you know the basics clearly and have to apply the short shortcut using the basics, it's a very simple one. Even without writing anything on the paper also, you can find the solution. But before go for going for this one, students, first, uh, let us discuss one thing very clearly because there may be some beginners also who are watching this video. What is the difference between calculating the profit on cost price generally normally or profit on the selling price? Very simple, students. For example, there is a profit, uh, profit percentage of 25 or 25 percent profit percentage. Right, one person calculated on the cost price normally, and the second person calculated on the selling price. What difference does it make? Simple students, in this case, in the first case, since it is calculated on the cost price, simply we can say like this: twenty-five percent is nothing but one by four. Okay, you know this one. In the basics, I have taught this one. This one, when profit is calculated on the cost price. 1 by 4, the fraction represents like this. This 4 is cost price and this 1 is profit. Okay. Now, selling price will be, since it is profit, 4 plus 1, 5. Selling price is 5. Normal method. You know this one. Okay. Whereas, when profit is calculated on the selling price, the values will be changed. How is this one? Again, 25% is 1 by 4 profit. But profit is calculated on the selling price. In this case, what happens here, 4 must be taken as the selling price. And this is the profit. Now, profit is 1, selling price is 4. Obviously, cost price CP is 4 minus 1, selling price minus profit. You will get the cost price. Now, in this case, 4 minus 1, that is 3, cost price 3. What is the difference here? Here, selling price 5. Here that is 4. Profit, of course, same in both the cases. 
then cost price is 4, here cost price is 3. This is the backdrop of the question. You must know this one. Only then you are able to go further. Since I assume that there may be some beginners, I have taught you this one. In a regular course, generally we go by fractions and a unitary method, a unique method that one. Okay, right. Let's go for this one. Now we will apply both the things here. The first one you take uh, Raman. Raman means I am writing R N. Quickly we go for this one. And next person is Rajiv. Rajiv I am taking this one as R J. Okay. Raman calculates his profit on the selling price. This person on the selling price. Of course, this person calculates profit on the cost price. Okay. Right. Now let's take this one. What's the profit? Here clearly they have given that uh, same and both of them get profit as 50 percent. 50 percent is nothing but one by two. In his case, since he is calculating profit on the selling price, in his case, if you take cost price is to CP is to SP selling price, in this case, 2 is the selling price. 1 is the profit, 2 minus 1, 1 is the cost price. Simple. Whereas, in his case, again the same thing, 1 by 2, profit is calculated on the cost price. So, here, this is the CP, this is the profit. And here the ratio will be CP is to SP, it must be CP is 2 and SP will be 2 plus 1 that is 3, simple. Okay. And again they have given one thing here, if the selling price of both of them are same, same, selling price should be same. See, here we are going with the unitary method. The basic of unitary method is first we start with the imaginary numbers. After going with the same instructions given in the question with the imaginary numbers, we conclude something and finally, the conclusion will be matched to the actual figure given in the question. In this case, you need not take anything as x. You need not apply the algebra. That is what we are doing here. Here, now in the first case, this is the cost price, this is selling price imaginary numbers with the same ratios. Okay. In the second case, this is CP and it is SP. But clearly they have given that in both the cases, selling prices are, selling price are same. Now, equalize these two, equalize these two without disturbing the ratio. You know that one, in ratio, both the terms are multiplied by the same number. The value of the ratio is not going to be changed. Now, I am doing the same thing here. I need to equalize both the selling price. 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3 is simple. You just multiply this ratio with the 3 and multiply this ratio with the 2. Both will be equalized. Since I cannot multiply 2, 2 into 3, this is 6. It is also 6. Since I, ca I cannot multiply only one term in the ratio, I need to multiply both the terms with the same number. So, I am doing the same thing here. So, this is 1 into 3, CP is 3, is to 2 into 3, 6. In this case, this is 2 into 2, 4, 3 into 2, that is 6. Now, you observe students, in both the cases, selling prices, selling price are same. Now, here, you take the Profit here. Why profit students? Here they have given one more clue that uh, the difference of their profits is 150. That is the actual figure. Now what I need to do with the imaginary figures, I take the difference of their profits and equalize that one with the, or equalize that one to 150. That is what we are going to do. Now what is the profit in this case? 6 minus 3, this is 3 is the profit here. Now, here the profit is 6 and 4, difference is 2, profit is 2. Now, the difference of their profits I need to take 3 minus 2, that is 1. This is the magic figure for us in the unitary method. That means, as per the instructions I went here and I have taken the same ratios and imaginary numbers are 3 profit here, 2 profit, difference is 1. But in the problem, this is the unitary method, basic of unitary method, right? Now, in the problem, the difference is given 150. Now, this one can be equalized to 150. Simple. Imaginary and actual. One is equal to 150. Now, what exactly they are asking here? Find their selling price. Selling price is same in both the cases, right? Now, when we want to go for the selling price, simply we do like this. One part is equal to 150 here. In the ratio, six parts, uh, how much? Simple. 
1 is 156, how much? 15 into 6, that is 90, my answer is 900. So, where am I getting 900 here? 900, yes, in option number B. Hope this is clear for all of you, right? Just observe this method, students, you can do, if you learn this type of methods, you can do the questions within the stipulated time. Learning is important. Basics are important for profit and loss. Basics in the regular course I taught for more than one hour because basics should be clear. The beginners generally watch the video with the slow pace. Already students who know the concept, you can increase the pace of the video into like 1.25 or 1.5 whatever it may be. Anyway, learning basics is important. Okay, right. Now go for the next question. This question I hope you can do it very, very easily. We can use the allegation grid here. For the last two sessions, in the previous two sessions in percentages, I think, I have given the allegation, uh, application of grid of allegation, how to uh, solve the questions using that. Okay. You can use the same thing. Simply, you can do, do this. What is that? A trader has 600 kgs of rice, part of which he sells at 15% profit. profit. This is important. 15% profit and the remaining at 20% loss. Now, he, here is. And on the whole, he incurs overall loss of 6%. What is the quantity of rice he sold at 20% loss? Simple students. If you know the ratio of that one, how much he sold for 15% ratio of 15% profit and 20% loss. If you know the ratio, easily you can find out uh, from this 600, how much is sold at 15% profit and how much is sold at 20% uh, loss. Ratio you need. So, with the quantities, to go for ratio, I use the allegation grid. To go for the allegation grid, how it should be, one should be the mean value, one quantity on the left side, one on the right side. We will go for the cross subtraction there, isn't it? But to go for that one, all the three must be of the same kind. If you start that one with the profit, remaining two also must be in the form of profit. If you start it with the cost price, remaining two will be cost price only. Only then you will get the uniformity there. Suppose you are starting with the time, time, all the three should be time, isn't it? Now, if I start with this one, profit or loss, whatever it may be, you can go for, I will go for profit only. Okay, so profit means overall he got 6%, where is this one here, 6% loss. I am just converting this one as profit, when 6% is loss, I may call it as a minus 6% profit. Nothing is wrong, alright. So, I am just converting that one, loss means that is minus 6% profit. Whereas, on one side I take profit, what is the profit here? 15% profit, there is no need to change this one. Because now it is profit, it is also profit, minus 6% profit. On the other side, very careful here, he incurred what is that one? 20% loss, 20% loss. Now, I am taking this 20% as minus 20% profit. Simple. Since I started this one with the profit. Got the idea? Right. Now, go for the uh, ratio here. When you start with this one, finally, you end up with the ratio. What is the ratio here? Minus 6 is less than 15. So, 15 minus minus 6. What is 15 minus minus 6? 15 plus 6, this is 21 here. Alright. Whereas, this one now you see, mean value is less than this one. So, this mean value must be more than this one. Yes, that is more than minus 20 is less than minus 6. Now, here mean value minus this value. So, minus 6, I write here minus 6 minus minus 20 or 6, uh, this one minus 6 uh, plus 20 or 20 minus 6 is 4 in here. Done. Now, this is uh, 7 2 times, 7 3 times. Now, it is 2 is to 3. This is simple. You can do it very, very easily. Now, the pulse, the pulse is that is rice. Rice is sold at 15% profit is 2 parts, whereas 20% loss is 3 parts out of this 600 kgs. Now, what is the question here? Rice sold at 20% loss. Now, what is 20% loss here? Directly, you can do this one. This is 2, two plus 3, 5. Many ways are there here also. 3, three by 5 into 
this is 600 this is uh, 12 times 120 this is 360 kgs is the answer that's it so my answer here is 360 kgs is it clear for all of you students you have to do the questions in this way all right so uh, here i started with minus 6 this one as the profit why can't we start this one with the loss nothing is there if you want to go with the loss huh? you must go like this this i'm taking as 6% i'm sorry okay let's take it out and go for that right okay let's go for this one ah let's take it out and uh, i start with the loss even you can do in that way also so loss is 6% when you have taken this one loss as 6% here the loss is 20% uh, directly i am using the loss grid here now 15% profit will become minus 15% loss minus 15 now you're doing the same way here mean value here this mean value is less than 20 and more than minus 50 now in this case 20 minus 6 this is 14 is 2 this is 15 uh, and this is 6 so how to go for this one 6 minus minus 15 6 plus 15 that is 21 the same thing 7 2s and 7 3s you will get the same answer now you got the idea right always go by this type of methods use the logic that's all you can easily understand that one but students again and again i'm telling you always remember your basic should be clear once the basics are clear you can do wonders in reasoning or quant for that matter any subject thank you very much students and uh, i'll meet you in the next session thank you so much